Well guys, I think the days of the GTX 1060 maxing out uh, 1080p games and still getting maybe at least 30 FPS are gonna be over when it comes to Unreal Engine 5 showcases. Now, we can see the warning, it's kind of covered up by some of my stats there, but it's, it's warning that we're out of VRAM. So despite the fact that this is 1080p, we're out of VRAM, and I think that is causing some of our problems. At least I'm assuming it's not trying to render above 1080p, <laughs> because I, uh, you know, there's no actual graphics settings menu in this, so I, I think it's just trying to reach my monitor's native resolution. What even is this anyway? It's not quite the Matrix Awakens demo. Let's fly around while I'm talking. It's not quite the Matrix Awakens demo, but it's pretty much that. It's the city that that's from, with the actual Matrix characters and stuff taken out uh, when it was released on PC. Now, this isn't really released on PC. It's a demo project for the Unreal Engine 5 editor, but somebody's already compiled this as a, you know, ex executive executable, there we go, file. And that's what I've downloaded and, and am playing here. Now the rest of my system is quite high end, so we are definitely seeing just the limits of the GPU. You can see this is absolutely maxed out by the GPU. And realistically, in an actual Unreal Engine 5 game, you should have adjustable settings that you could turn down. In this, I guess I could dig into some of the any files, configure files, and see if there's some things I could change. But um, really, I just wanted to test out what is the performance of this thing at its default settings on the 1060, and we can see it really just can't handle it. Now, I'm also not using temporal resolution scaling, which this engine does feature, but that's not gonna get me from 13 FPS to 30 FPS, at least not rendering at any reasonable resolution scale. But that would definitely be something that could help and then again turning down actual graphical settings. Now we do have some settings that we can play with here. For example, we could actually go to nighttime. So we can take a look at the lighting engine at night, which is kind of neat. So we could play around at night just a little bit. So, I mean, this really is quite visually impressive despite the performance. One of the coolest things about the Unreal Engine 5 engine is its lighting system. We do have this Lumen system, again, where we can very dynamically adjust the lighting. So we can go between day and night. Also, you can adjust the sun's rotation. We can see the, sh the shadows change in real time. So none of this had to be just completely pre-baked by the developers at these exact um, you know, locations, all of that. We can also turn down the crowd and the traffic, but that really doesn't solve the problem. You'll notice that the frame rate is still quite bad here, even if we just make it a completely dead city. So I think it's really just we're over our VRAM limit. You can see that warning in the top left corner. And even if we weren't, I don't think we'd be getting fantastic performance here. But one of the other things we can look at here is like the Nanite technology. So look at, in a lot of games, the uh, you know stonework in front of me would pop in at different levels of detail as we went closer to it. Or it would just be kind of low res when you got, got up close. But look at that, guys. We can get right up here. That is a very high resolution, you know, high quality piece of stonework right here. And we can just smoothly pan out to any distance from that. That's one of the coolest things about the Unreal Engine 5 technology, is that this massive city is actually incredibly detailed and developers don't have to program different LODs for all of this. At least that's my understanding. I am not a game dev. But I, as I understand it, they're basically able to take these incredibly high quality, high polygon count, uh, high resolution assets, and just the game engine will intelligently cull the stuff you don't need to get to, uh, you know, fly around at any detail level. But as you can see, despite the fact that that makes things easier, it lets things look beautiful, and it probably does reduce the cost on the GPU compared to doing this in older engines, it's still quite demanding, and we can see our 1060 here. Uh, definitely not 
delivering frame rates at which you would actually want to play a game. Now, if you guys are interested in seeing this tested out on some other GPUs, let me know in the comments section. I've already tested this out on my RTX 3080 at 4K. I could test it out out of the resolutions. I've got an RX 6800 XT, I've got a 6700 XT, I've got a 6600, I've got an RTX 3060. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing some of those, let me know. And if I have a chance later tonight or tomorrow, I could try to get some more videos out seeing how some more mid-range hardware that's current generation mid-range hardware can handle this at various resolutions. Um, I'm not really going to try out the 1060 any more than this just because I just, you know, look at the frame rate, guys. I don't think there's a lot I could do other than, like I said, trying to edit the text files and, and reduce settings and... I don't know, man. That's just not what I'm interested in and have time for at the moment. I hope all of you have an excellent day.